yeah see whatever the project development process we have seen on the board just have a look in this screen here I have depicted the same diagram here the business is Sony and taking from three branches from three branches we are having users the users are interacting with the business databases or interacting with the business by or through web web pages these are called as web applications or web pages or front-end applications and from the front-end applications the data is going to be generated in the back-end databases yeah so these databases are called as OLTP databases from OLTP database at the end of each and every business period the data of OLTP database is to be loaded into data warehouse from data warehouse the report developers can develop the reports and based on the reports the business decision makers can take the decisions to improve the business yeah so what is OLTP online transaction processing use it to store daily data or day-to-day -day data or current data or we can also call it as a transactional data OLAP online analytical processing this is called as data warehouse it contains historical data and yeah before implementing any database we have to follow some plan what is the plan how can I implement the database for a company what is the plan how, uh, how the plan of uh, development of the database is represented for implementing any OLTP system is ER model the data model is known as ER model for implementing OLTP system of any company yeah in the ER model entity relationship model what is an entity what is relation every object in the business is considered as entity let us see what are the entities in the business already we have seen in the first session what is the what are the entities employees are there okay and departments are there okay and products are there and the products are sold to whom customers customer is also an entity and if the customer requesting about an order of the product order is also an entity if the customer is making any transaction transaction is known as an entity everything is known as an entity suppose if a customer makes some sales transaction with the business sales is also one of the entity for each entity or object we have to create a table again I am repeating for each entity or object we have to create a table every entity is having some properties what are the properties let us see these are called as objects or entities we can say entities okay and what are the properties or yeah what are the properties of each entity see here I am going to write the properties here MP ID and EMP name, EMP sal, EMP job, EMP hire date. These are the properties of the employees. And what is the gender of employee? What is the date of birth of employee? Yeah. So on which date he joined and what is the address? What is the mail ID, PAN card number, passport number? Everything is called as property of each employee like uh, employees we have the departments that is department id and department name and department location these are the properties of department and what is the properties of products yeah we know that product every product is having product id and product name and product cost and product was manufactured on which date and what is the warranty of the product here the properties of any object will be changed from domain to domain what is meant by it suppose if you are considering any electronic device we have warranty if you are considering any medical product we have expiry date that will be changed from domain to domain warranty description of the product yeah what are the properties of order 
customer is also same as customer id customer name customer address customer gender city all these things are called as customer properties what is the properties of order yeah what is order id next order type yeah what is order number next one and and how many number of what is the quantity of the order and what is the payment method of the order so we can call it as a payment method for this order this one yeah what is the transaction transaction id transaction date transaction name all these things are called as transaction properties yeah each and every object is having some properties see for every object in the database we have to create a table for storing employees information we have to create the table like emp for storing transactional information we need to create transactional details table to store customer account details we have to know we have to create a table customer account details yeah and what are the properties are there here i have listed some properties each property is considered as a column or a field name inside your oracle database for every object you are creating a table and in each table we are having fields how how do i name the fields yeah you have to specify the property name as the name of the field yeah and see here i have depicted an entity relationship diagram employee and department these two are two entities in the database and these two entities are interrelated with each other why because every employee should works under one department and every department should contain at least one employee so employee and department both are interrelated objects so here i have listed that employee properties some properties and department properties how they will be related with each other yeah through primary key and foreign key we can implement the physical relationship between interrelated objects not only emp and dept and we can also consider customer making a sales transaction means customer and sales tables both are interrelated so we have to implement the physical relation between customer and sales and company products from each company we have products every product should be from any one of the company so company and product both should be interrelated and we need to implement the physical relation between these interrelated objects so that can be represented in the form of er model based on er model it's a design document based on this design document we can go for the development of the data related to a business that's it now we have finished up with project development process and now we are really entering into oracle what is oracle who has developed oracle what are the different versions of oracle uh, nowadays what is the latest version nowadays the most of the companies or business are using which version okay have a look at the screen and we there we will discuss about each and every version of oracle along with the history of oracle corporation so let us see in the previous session we have discussed about uh, what is project development process what are the database concepts now really we are going for oracle what is oracle oracle is a database or simply i can say it's an rdbms so oracle was developed by whom actually oracle is developed by relational software incorporation it is the earlier name of oracle corporation in 1977 oracle corporation was started or uh, at that time the name of the company is relational software incorporation on that year only they have released one software that is called as oracle database release one yeah so we in this session we can discuss about what are oracle sessions versions and what are the features of 8i 9i 10g 11g and the latest version of uh, oracle is 12c now what is er model just now we have discussed it so i am removing this yeah now 
who was developed oracle by oracle corporation so oracle corporation name is from the year 1979 yeah and see the first version released in 1977 and it is very basic version and it is compatible with the assembly language programming so assembly language programming is a programming language which is developed to use assemblies assemblers so for system level programming they have used to maintain the system level database and they have written the database by using assembly language and later in 1983 they have released oracle database release 3 and now in the release 3 what is the new concept is now oracle is able to compatible with c programming language and it is also oracle is also able to run on mainframe systems and mini computers and also on pcs and it is compatible with any c compiler and the execution of sql statements is supported from this release onwards and see sql it's a language actually it is a native language from ibm not from oracle so later they have purchased that language and included in oracle database now see in 1984 they have released oracle database release 4 here what are the additional features added in this release 4 is we can export the data and we can import the data export and import utilities are implemented and there is a report writer concept is implemented in oracle database release 4 in 1985 they have released oracle database release 5 here they have implemented the clustering technology what is a clustering technology let us see generally database database means it's a storage area under this storage area you are storing your business data okay so storage area means it's a big storage area so if you store your one table data or related tables data related objects information like customers and customer account details if you are storing it somewhere in the database and you are storing customer account details at somewhere in the database so whenever you are getting data from these two tables it will take a little bit more time to fetch the data from multiple tables so to reduce that time that time what we have to do is we can create a cluster a cluster is a storage area we can store the logically related or physically related objects information under one cluster area then automatically if you are requesting the information from multiple tables or multiple related objects then we will get that information from one cluster it will know it will it won't go for multiple data blocks or multiple clusters so it will speed up your search next in 1988 the oracle corporation has released oracle database release 6 and here they have introduced pl sql language by using this we can write the programs and we can run these programs against the database and there is a hot backup capability is also implemented in release 6 and now in 1992 oracle corporation has released the database version oracle release 7 yeah so it is the first commercial version of oracle database released in release 7 from here it is supporting all activities of the business almost all activities of the business is supported from oracle 7 that's why we we are well known from oracle 7 in 1997 they have released the database version release 8 in this 8th version it is supporting the java related versions java programs or html programs and and it is hugely used for oltp transactions and now in 1998 oracle 8i has released from 8i the scenario of oracle corporation is changed completely from 2000 uh, sorry from 1998 onwards yeah what it is 8i i stands for internet application 
from this moment onwards Oracle is able to receive the data from front end applications like Java or PHP or .NET it is compatible with any front end technology as well as and they are performing parallel database distribution parallel executions and it is compatible with the Linux operating system everything is possible from 8i so simply I can justify the answer like from 8i onwards it is supporting internet applications so that we are able to process our business data in online online data processing is possible from 8i onwards and 9i it is also supporting online data processing but what are the additional things in 9i in 9i we have some tools over there that tools are very much helpful to develop oracle apps oracle applications oracle applications is nothing but e business suit so oracle 11i is a group of uh, erp modules it's an erp okay to develop such kind of erp modules we have special tools are there in oracle 9i yeah in oracle 10g it was released in 2003 g stands for grid technology and grid computing technology is introduced in this what is a grid grid is nothing but it's a just like mesh like architecture mesh like architecture under this architecture every server of the business is interconnected with all the servers so if you want to communicate from one server to other server it is very easy and it is very cost effective and there is no communication gap between server to server in 2007 they have released oracle 11g this is also supporting grid technology and we have various differences over there um, from the previous versions see transaction management is very easy and it is providing the flashback data archive so means you can get back the deleted tables and you can maintain the log information of creation of tables deletion of tables modification of the tables and you can virtually divide the table into set of columns and see in Oracle 8i 9i 10g there is no case sensitivity for username and password for user account information there is no case sensitivity but from Oracle 11g onwards there exist usernames and passwords are case sensitive so at the time of creating user account if you specify username and password in uppercase then to connect to the database you must specify username and password in uppercase yeah and in Oracle 12c that is the latest version 8c stands for cloud computing what is meant by cloud computing see generally if you want to work with Oracle you have in your local system or whatever the system in front of you there is no Oracle in that case we are unable to work with it actually but simply nowadays you can connect to the data you can connect to the internet and through internet if you are an authorized person you can connect to the cloud that cloud which is providing oracle technology so there you can work with the oracle technology and if you want to upload something then you can upload that will be available in the cloud so from that cloud you are working without installing that technology in your local system so it will reduce the cost of implementing or the cost of training the cost of uh, learning all these things are possible from cloud computing and the cloud is available from anywhere that cloud is available from anywhere you can access the cloud from anywhere throughout the world if you have an internet access so that's it about oracle versions